Can-Am Spider Roadster oil change brought to you by the Pirate. We're getting ready to do an oil change right here on a Can-Am Spider Roadster, an SE5 model, which stands for semi-automatic. The uh, SE5 has a semi-automatic transmission and inside that tr transmission is an oil filter located underneath this cap here. Here's your oil filter location under your uh, larger cap just on the side of the front pulley and now we'll pan down and we'll check out the uh, necessary items that you will need for the oil change. First let's start with the necessary tools for the repair. We have a quarter inch drive torque wrench, a 3 8 inch drive torque wrench, a 3 8 ratchet, a quarter inch ratchet, a 6 millimeter Allen, a 5 millimeter Allen, some crush washers, the oil filters and the oil. We recommend Spectro Platinum 4. It's a full synthetic 540 oil. Um, you should be roughly about 3,000 miles on your oil changes. Some of you I know uh, go a little bit over or if you're on the open road. Just so you're aware, uh, a good quality synthetic oil will last you anywhere from three to 5,000 miles depending on your driving conditions. If you're out on the open road doing mainly highways, you may be able to get out uh, about 5,000 miles out of the oil. Now you're still due to thermal breakdown of oils in city driving. So no matter what type of oil and the quality of the oil, uh, definitely recommend changing it about every 3,000 miles if you're in city or in town driving. So we recommend the Spectro 540 full synthetic. That's a true synthetic oil. When you're draining the oil on the uh, SE5, you've got your oil cap here. Inspect the O-ring on here. Um, you're going to replace the drain gasket on the oil tank. And then located right below the gearbox positioning sensor is your engine oil drain. You're going to replace that gasket and then inspect the O-ring on the oil filter cap too. Putting a pan under the entire unit will speed up the uh, process in the oil change. Usually a, a good 20 minutes on an SE5 uh, is, a, is a good time to get all the oil out of the transmission. I've removed the oil strainer which goes inside the uh, oil tank here uh, so you can see what it looks like. This is the screen that needs to be cleaned periodically and then when we reinstall that we're going to put on a brand new Oedeker clamp. Okay the engines all drained and we got the caps reinstalled, got the drains reinstalled with the new crush washers. We've set up everything back to proper torquing spec. It's very important to use those torque wrenches especially when you're threading into aluminum as if you do strip out some of the threads it's not a very inexpensive repair so especially the engine drain uh, so be sure to use the torque wrenches whenever applicable okay it's time to add the oil we're gonna start off by uh, removing the dipstick we're gonna add about three quarts of oil to the oil tank we're gonna screw the cap back in start the unit and let it run for about a minute, minute and a half. That'll circulate the oil into the uh, engine. Then we're gonna add our fourth quart of oil. Okay, we got all the body work back on and uh, took it for a short test ride. Got the engine up to operating temperature. Now we're gonna do the final inspection on the oil. Uh, we'll take this out. This is your dipstick here. We're gonna do a quick wipe down on it. Thread it all the way back in till it seats, then back it back out. Okay, we're at about uh, three quarter or so on the dipstick, which I like to run between three quarter and full when it's at operating temperature. So we look good. We're going to go ahead and uh, screw that back in. 
put on the in, back on the inspection cover and we're good to ride. Now remember, uh, check your engine oil about every 500 miles, uh, especially for those of you who like to uh, do a little sport riding or spend a little more time in the upper RPM ranges. Uh, as these big V twins will use a little bit of oil. So hopefully that helps you and that'll be a nice tech tip for you. The pirate is over and out. Arr!